BoxingShow.tv fans, I'm with none other than the trainer of Jean Pascal, Mark Ramsey. How you doing, Mark? Very good, yourself? Thank you. Mark, before this craziness starts, I'm going to get you a couple of months before. Tell me about the fight with uh, Pascal and Cloud. How, how happy are you that the fight got finally done after all these, uh, these, uh, these years, I, I would say? Tell us about this fight. That was a, a long way of uh, negotiation to uh, for the for the, the, the signature of the, the contract. But now everything is done. Pascal is in the gym for two months now, uh, looking good, very uh, enthusiastic about the, about that fight. And we're gonna start the the real portion of training camp Monday uh, in Montreal. Now, obviously, the fight that he fought uh, Bernard Hopkins twice. That was like uh, the best learning experience anybody, any fighter can ever have, any fighter. Uh, tell me what you've learned from Jean Pascal in those two fights and what do you think will be the major part for you to improve in order for Pascal to become, again, uh, an elite fighter, which he is already, but I mean, just to go to the next level of, of cons consistently staying as a champion for a long time. You know, when you have a loss uh, against a guy like Bernard Hopkins, you can, you have two type of reaction. You can, you have the type of guys who's just gonna be this completely destroyed after a loss and like never, Pavlik. yeah, and then never recover from it. And you have like a, t a type of guy like John, who very smart, can sit down and analyze thing and uh, make sure that you have the good debriefing and the good, also the good solution for the future. Right. And uh, this is exactly what we did. We take a lot of time to make sure that. You just don't turn the page and forget about everything, but analyze every point of the, that two fights. And uh, now we, we make some adjustment for the future. Which type of adjustment do you feel was the most important for Jean to for this to realize general management of uh, of his action in the ring like the way the way he fight sometimes he fight uh, a lot with his heart and his uh, and he try he try to give a, sh a big show to to the crowd and he wastes a lot of energy a lot of people think he doesn't have the stamina but it's mostly because i think he he loses so much energy with those big punches it's uh, it's the way you manage your energy it's not like the, the tank is full but it's, it's how you let the gas go exactly. um, but you know what with that type of experience Jean, and especially, it's something you can also work on a sparring session in the, in the gym, and to make sure that you have a fresh, fresh sparring partner every round, and he have to manage his energy. I know Pedro Diaz is a big part of the team. Is he going to be back for this fight? Uh, right now, Pedro is in Puerto Rico uh, with Cotto. Uh, he's going to be back for some part of the training camp. Maybe not like he, he was involved uh, last time, but he's, he's still. He became too important for us. <laughs> Just joking. He's, he's a part of my team, and he stay a part of. He's my a great team. trainer, and we saw what he did with Cotto and uh, hopefully this fight is going to be great yeah. and uh, we're looking forward to it. Any, more, any words for your fans and uh, Jean-Pascal fans? We're back. <laughs> That's it, baby. Thanks. Thank Mark. you.